welcome to the tip of the week. I'm Dr. Amy Starr with the Paws and Hooves Mobile Veterinary Services, Mesa Veterinary Clinic, and San Francisco Stables. This is Andrea in Brooklyn, and they're going to help me out uh, today in teaching you how to clean your pet's ears. During the summertime, we see a high increase in ear infections because of several things. Pets get a lot of allergies in the summer times and that can lead to ear infections. A lot of times they're swimming or, or getting bathed more often and the water left in the ears can lead to ear infections uh, if they're going in the river or, or things like that. So um, it's really important that you're checking your pet's ears every week. You want to look and make sure that they're nice and pink and healthy. You don't want to see any brown or black discharge. You don't want to see a whole lot of redness. And if they're shaking their head or they're scratching at their ears or another pet is licking at the ears a lot, those are quick signs to show that there's something wrong. Then you want to bring them in and have us check. Sometimes they can get even little ticks or little pieces of grass or weeds way down in the canal that will cause severe problems and you may not be able to see anything from the outside. So if you're seeing that shaking or scratching, please bring them in so we can check with the otoscope and look down in the canal. Um, it's important to, uh, that you're checking the ears and that you're cleaning on a periodic basis. You want to clean their ears uh, at least once or twice a month. I recommend once a week and that way you can prevent any problems. There's various products that you can use. Um, we have had some clients say lately that they've been using dish soap or water or things like that. Please don't use those products. Those are very uh, harmful to the ears because they leave liquid down in the ears that um, causes yeast infections. So you want to use a drying agent. Uh, you can use a little bit of vinegar with some distilled water, uh, but I do recommend that you use an actual cleaning agent that you'll get a lot better results with that. This is an over-the-counter product uh, that we keep here at the clinic. It's called Epiotic. Fairly inexpensive and it works great. The thing that I like about it that you want to be aware of if you're going to a store and buying a product most of the over-the-counter products at the stores do not have drying agents. And the Epiotic actually has, it's cleansing, drying, and non-irritating. So you want to make sure and use a product that's going to dry that out so we don't leave the fluid in there and cause other problems and, and infections. This one um, I'm just showing to you guys because it is one that is medicated, so it's prescription. And we do use it on those pets that have those chronic problems because it prevents it from coming back as much or those pets that have allergies. Okay, so you may see this if you come in and your pet has um, problems over and over and over. We want to use this to help prevent. Okay, Brooklyn, you ready? So there's two ways of cleaning the ears. Um, the first way, if the dogs don't like their ears cleaned, this is an easier way because you're not actually just putting fluid down in the ear. You're soaking the cotton ball and then you put the cotton ball in the entrance to the ear. Turn this way, Brooklyn. Put the cotton ball in the entrance to the ear like that. It's got its fluid in it. Turn it over and massage, massage, massage. And that helps that liquid to drain down in the ear canal itself without actually just pouring fluid in there. The ear canal is an L. It goes down like this and towards the nose. And so once you get that and you massage them, do it outside. You can let them shake so they get any discharge out and then simply just wipe it out like that, okay? Brooklyn has beautiful clean ears. Her mom takes really good care of her, so she doesn't have any discharge, but you know that's something that you would look for, okay? The other option, let's turn Brooklyn this way. The other option is to actually just pour a little bit of liquid down in there. Um, Brooklyn's real good, so she doesn't mind it too much, but some dogs mind this, and so you'll want to use the cotton ball method. This one uses a little less of the liquid, um, the cotton ball uses a little bit more, but they're both good options. You want to massage at the base of the, of the head, the base of that ear where that cartilage is, to break up any wax or discharge in there. Again, if you're outside, you can let her shake. You can put a little um, Kleenex or a gauze um, around your, your finger. You can use a cotton ball, and you can actually just work it out of that canal like that. Okay, So you're going to point towards her ear. It's okay, Brooklyn and clean it out like that, and then wipe out any discharge, okay? You can use Q-tips if you want. The ear, like I said, the ear canal is an L, so you're not gonna damage the eardrum, but don't go shoving it down in there. Just use it to clean out those folds that are there, all right? So we want healthy pets, healthy ears. Remember, um, summertime is the season for ear problems, so if you have any questions, give us a call. Thank you.